Hi, today we are going to talk about something called the arithmetic sequence. So we define arithmetic sequences as sequences in which the difference between any two consecutive terms is going to remain constant. And that difference is going to be called common difference, and we denote it as D. So we're going to take a look at several examples where uh, we need to determine if a sequence is an arithmetic sequence. If we take a look at example 1, it's asking us to determine if the following sequence is arithmetic, and if it is, to find the common difference. The sequence is 3, 16, 29, 42, and so on. So, what we need to do is, we need to understand first of all that this is going to be our first term, this is our second term, this is our third term, this is our fourth term. And what we need to do is determine if the difference between consecutive terms is going to stay the same. So we're going to take the difference between the second term and the first term, which in our case is 16 minus 3, and that is 13. Then we're going to take a look at the difference between A3 and A2, which is the difference between the third term and the second term, and that's 29 minus 16, and that is 13 also. And finally, we're going to take the fourth term minus the third term, which is 42 minus 29, and that is also 13. So for all these differences, we got 13. Since the difference remains the same, we can conclude that this is an arithmetic sequence. And then the common difference is actually going to be that number that we found here. So the common difference in this case is going to be 13. And we're done. So what we're going to do now is take a look at the next problem. Same exact question, except our sequence obviously is going to be different. So our terms are 4, negative 5, negative 14, negative 23. We are going to follow the same process. We're going to understand that this is the first term, this is the second term, this is the third term, this is the fourth term. So following the same process, a2 minus a1 is going to be negative 5 minus 4, which is negative 9. A3 minus A2 is going to be negative 14 minus negative 5, which is also negative 9. The fourth term minus the third term is going to be negative 23 minus negative 14, which is also negative 9. We have the same difference, negative 9, when we subtract consecutive terms. And then we could conclude that this is an arithmetic sequence. And then the common difference will be, as you probably already guessed, negative 9. I have a couple more examples for us to look at. Same exact question. So example 3. Determine if the following sequence is arithmetic. If it is, find the common difference. The sequence is 1, 3, 9, 27. Uh, some of you may probably recognize some kind of a pattern here, which is good. Although our, our, we are interested in determining the specific pattern. So if we determine, I mean, if we identify this as the first term and the second term and the third term and the fourth term, and we find the difference between the second term and the first term, that's 3 minus 1, that's going to give us 2. The third term minus the second term is 9 minus 3 is going to give us 6. And unfortunately, well, or fortunately, but we already have a problem. Because these terms, these two differences don't match. And if they do not match, then it doesn't really matter what happens if I try to do two more terms. Um, that means that our difference is not going to stay the same and this is not a common difference. I'm sorry, not an arithmetic sequence. And since it's not an arithmetic sequence, we do not even have 
a common difference here. So that's all that you're going to need to say here. And that is going to be our answer. Okay. Now our last problem, I picked uh, something a little bit more challenging here. Because now we have uh, some numbers where we have fractions. I'm not going to go through the process of explaining how to perform operations with fractions. This is for another video. Uh, here we're just going to assume that we know it and we're going to work with that. Again, this is the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term. So the second term minus the first term, we're going to have to subtract 4 third minus 5. Uh, since we have to subtract numbers and one of them is a fraction, um, they're going to have to com convert 5 to a number with the common, uh, with the same denominator. And uh, what's going to happen here, you are going to end up getting negative 11 over 3. When I choose the third term minus the second term, I'm going to do negative 7 thirds minus 4 thirds. That's also negative 11 over 3. And when I do the fourth term minus the third term, that's going to be negative 6 minus negative 7 third. That is also going to give us negative 11 over 3. So as scary as it may look in the beginning, you have the same exact difference when you calculate the difference between your consecutive terms. So this is an arithmetic sequence. And the common difference here will be negative 11 over 3. And this is how it's done. Hope this helps.